Hey guys, welcome back to Factorio. This is Eddie Man, and today we are going to start a brand new series. Actually, a modded series of Factorio. Yes, um, as you saw in the in the description and the, the topic or the title, I'm going to tackle the Brave New World um, mod, uh, which brings the RTS style um, feel to Factorio. Um, super excited about this um, and we're gonna do it with a twist all right um, so down in the description will be the uh, mod set the different mods that I will be using um, for this playthrough um, and I will uh, go over them as um, they're presented in the series okay but right now let's go over the map settings we're just going to choose a default setting, okay? I tweak the resources, resources settings to very low and stone low. Size very big, pretty much across the board, and richness also very good. All right, so that's going to um, low frequency the, the patches, uh, which will mean we probably will need to s uh, set up train network to get to the different patches um, But it will yield us uh, much greater uh, Resources, okay, that's the idea behind that uh, terrain setting. I changed the starting area to big um, And cliffs I turned off as you can see here well, We are going to be using the alien biomes and the alien biome high res um, mod for this playthrough uh, so there is a lot more settings here we're just gonna leave everything um, to default here um, and also with the mod settings I didn't change anything we're just gonna go ahead and keep everything uh, at default here including yes you see it we are gonna be playing with natural evolution enemies mod um, and again I didn't change any um settings we're just gonna leave it the way it is i never used it before so let's see how the aliens are different in this playthrough okay apply um and then let's go ahead and generate a preview so with the um oh we have some snow biomes here that's super exciting uh, with the brave new world uh, mod uh we are we are supposed to start with some oil in our starting location, but here it doesn't look like we have any oil patches. Well, there's a huge oil field to the northeast. Um, that's a lot of iron there. I'm not sure if I'll dig this start. Let's go ahead and regenerate that roll. Okay, um, we do lose some snow, but the snow is more to the east here now. Let. Okay, oil is a little out of reach, but that shouldn't be too bad. It looks like the coal and the iron are right next to each other. We have another iron patch here, and then we have two copper patches that are somewhat close and then it looks like there's stone here okay um this actually looks promising there's a lot of copper which we want look at this over here too and there's plenty of coal okay a bunch of iron huge iron here two of them nice um yeah i mean that oil can't be that far right remember we don't have a character this um with this mod with the brave new world mod so we will have to use bots to get out there so all that coal there but again there's no oil close by it seems like there's all either big patch of coal or a big oil patch close by it's never both ok 
Okay, we roll that. Oil is far. There's no little dots around here, huh? Nope. Okay. Coal is too far on that one. Coal, iron is... Yeah. Too far. A lot of white. <laughs> um, iron, copper, coal, oil is all the way. All right, we just got to roll these. Maybe I'll cut some of this out because this is getting a little crazy. <laughs> it's a lot of coal. It's very mixed, but there's a lot of coal there. Again, no oil in sight. <laughs> Hello, copper. Coal. Oil is way too far. Oh, hello, centralized oil. Might be too much oil. Iron is not that far away. There's copper here. Copper might be the first thing we reach out for. Oh, iron is right there. All right. We have our map. We're going to go with this. All right. Press forward. All right, brave new world tip. Replace entities with the deconstruction planner by placing source entities on the second row and target entities directly below. All right, so we remember, we don't have a character this scenario. So what we will have to do then is we will have to utilize our blueprints, okay, and our bots. Oh, let's alt tab so we see what we have here. We start off with a bunch of transport belts, underground splitters, pipes, inserters, power poles, lights, stone furnaces, um, assembly machines, which will be our, these four will be our, like, bread and butter right here. And we start off with a bunch of chests, so we, and four electric mining drills. <clears throat> okay, so the first thing we want to do is we would like to see what our 
construction ranges and collect anything we possibly can with the bots. Including these rocks. It's going to be a great source of early stone. We have some wood there too that we can get. Why is Hold on, everything is unlimited? Now how did that happen? Wait a minute, did I toggle something on and off? Interesting. Oh, I see, because I can't handcraft anything. So that's why it said, okay, all right. So yeah, as you can see here, we are playing with the 30 science pack um, in addition to the game. I know that's crazy, <laughs> but that is what we're gonna be doing. Let's add more. X to more storage to our um, base here, and we are out of power, aren't we? Yes, we are, because it's nighttime now. Okay, so our first line of business is power. Now, can we build more robo ports? Yes, we can. Okay, we will need to reach out to water and which is over here. Um, let's let them just build that one first and then we will go from there. Okay. As you can see, we are totally drained of power. We will have to wait to day daytime to get going here with base building again. <laughs> That's crazy. Place those down. Okay. Um, storage chest and storage chest. Yeah. All right. So this is where all the stone is. We have some wood in there now too. Um, another mod that we're using is uh, Afraid of the Dark um, for you guys on YouTube, so you can uh, see this better, especially at nighttime. Um, I've not been able to, um, with not being able to make lights right away, I can't just place them down whenever I can. Okay, unfortunately, we are at our wits here with the power. Oh yeah, it's like a snail. Getting that power back. I gave the bots too many commands, huh? Okay. Okay, we're slowly coming back to life here now. Did they reach out and get that yet? No, they have not. Okay. The other robot port I would like them to build. And then we will have to also bring power out there as well, too.
Okay. And then power poles, and then. Well, I wish I had the rubble port. Yep. Perfect. Okay, now that extends our reach to at least here. Okay, and then we have coal? Where's, oh, coal's right there. Hello. <laughs> Uh, our goal will be eventually is to get oil up and running as soon as we can and get um, convert um, light oil into power. It's gonna we're gonna need that soon, very soon. Okay, and then another robo port here coverage there and again we want to do how many power poles do we have gotta keep that in mind <clears throat> okay and then anything that we can deconstruct while we're here we might as well grab it Okay. Perfect. And we'll come into nighttime again. We're gonna lose power. <clears throat> Unfortunately, this deems where it's gonna place itself. We don't initially pick it, so I don't know. It's gonna be kind of far from the water here. This is where I want to set up power. Initial power is here. Um, probably a line going down with everything facing that way. So I don't have to worry about being in the way of the miners for the iron here. <clears throat> I like this biome though, it's pretty cool. Alright, so we'll let night take its toll here. Um, and then I guess our initial thing was getting power up in my first we'll have to utilize blueprints if we get destroy blueprints though okay <clears throat> all right um, we'll do one more day uh, day cycle and then we'll go ahead and wrap up this initial episode this is fun uh, it didn't totally new way of playing uh, anything up here we can deconstruct all these rocks here but we're not going to worry about that right this moment here okay stay close to home here during the night time um, we are using F -E F -N -E -I pod uh, this playthrough as well um, I forget that would help us out with recipes so forth um, actually it would be my real first time by myself using it so I'm super stoked about that and then also upgrade planner um, we'll be utilizing that as well too so very neat stuff for this playthrough um, at least until 9.70 comes out and Maybe I'll continue this um, once the mods are updated as well. That is, of course. <clears throat> and then we'll take it from there. All right. Let's see what the power cycle is on right now. The solar panels are coming back on, so the daytime is coming back. <clears throat> and the goal for today is to get power online uh, four steam engines two bo boilers okay <clears throat> and then we'll use the logistic bots to carry the coal over to power for now until we can get the, the miners going 
for power. Okay, solar panels are kicked in. I don't want to start on anything until at least we get some power, maybe above 900 kilowatts. I don't think we're going to go above 720 because of the robo ports. Yep. Okay. So then we're going to have to do be quick about this. Um, do we have a pump? Yes, we do. We have a pump. Whew, at least they give us that, right? to toggle alt on and off that's oh, already off okay okay we're gonna put a pump there all right oh uh, actually uh, don't want to put a pump there okay we're gonna put the pump There. Let's put the pump there. Okay. Okay, so the daytime is coming down to the end again, and it looks like that's all the time we have for this episode. We've gone ahead and expanded east here towards the water, and we've gone ahead and started our power setup. Unfortunately, we did run out of time for this episode. So again, I want to thank you guys so much for joining me in this episode of Modded Factoria, A Brave New World. Um, and if you would like to um, help out with the channel please go ahead and consider throwing me a like uh, for this video um, and if you want to stay up with everything Eddie Man also please don't forget to subscribe to the channel as well but right now I want to thank you guys so much for joining me in this episode of A Brave New World and like always I'll see you guys next time